latest on Hurricane Florence at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, September 13th. It had winds estimated of 100 miles per hour and a pressure of 955 millibars. This information could be slightly different at the National Hurricane Center update because this was recorded prior to the time. Uh, there is the storm right now. It's at 34 north, 76.5 west and a stage 6 on the CDPS scale at this time. The storm is already causing catastrophic flooding issues for the Moorhead City area. It's 50 miles from Beaufort, 52 from Moorhead City itself, most of which is now without power. 67 from Surf City, 74 from Jacksonville and 84 from Wilmington. The storm is also producing a few tornado warnings at this time, along with the hurricane warning and tropical storm warnings that are in effect for large parts of North and South Carolina and extending into Virginia. The storm surge warning and watch is also in effect as well for potentially as high as 11 feet of surge. Along with this, the storm is expected to stall before it moves inland and could may, may not make landfall until uh, during the day on Friday. That will allow the storm to potentially drop up to 40 inches of rain over North and South Carolina and that will probably be nearly double of what Hurricane Floyd gave to this, these states. The storm's heavy rainfall will likely cause more significant flooding issues for the whole area. It will extend quite far inland as well and it's a serious situation on our hands regardless of Florence's actual intensity when it makes landfall. Hurricane Force winds are already reaching the coast by the way amidst very warm sea surface temperatures of around 28 or 29 degrees. It's got a large wind field and that could increase in size for as long as Florence remains a hurricane until it makes landfall and afterwards uh, the storm will lose its wind field unless it stays close to the coast and then move inland and curve eventually towards the northeast and move out over the areas that were affected by Gordon in the last week as well so there could be some flooding issues in other states further north as well particularly places like Ohio and Pennsylvania one of the two places that we're looking at pretty closely the chances of tropical storm force winds look like this. They really haven't changed much at all in the last six hours if you were watching. Uh, just most notably at Norfolk, the chances have gone down quite a bit in Virginia, down to 29% in Norfolk right now. Charleston remains at 70. Well, there's not much to really look at when it comes to the models anymore. Um, at worst, they're calling for the storm to maintain its intensity or maybe some slight strengthening. In fact, uh, one or two models there are a little bit out of date, so it's unfair to assess that one. Wind shear is on a very, very slow increase, and painfully slow, just as the storm's passage is right now. Sea surface temperatures are the warmest they're going to be now for the duration of the rest of the storm. Um, and really we're just waiting and counting down the hours until the storm actually makes landfall whenever it decides to do so. This is how it's actually been looking on satellite imagery. This covers a seven hour period and it's really starting as it means to go on. You can see how little it's moved in the last six hours and uh, a certain convection has wrapped around the storm center and in recent uh, frames on the GO-16 satellite uh, there's been signs that, that convection may possibly be continuing to blow up and maybe the storm might have a final burst before it moves into land and could re-intensify a little bit. We'll keep watching this very closely. It's a severe event. Stay tuned. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page. You're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 All in Text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also help the project become even better by enjoying the benefits of patronage. You can find out more information about how to become a patron and what those benefits are at patreon.com forward slash force13. You can also view Force 13's live feed on Florence nearing the end of its sixth day of coverage on our live feed youtube.com forward slash force13 forward slash live.